भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम ज्ञानतिमरांधश ज्ञानाजन सलाकया सक्षुन्मील तस्म श्रीगुरव नम मूक कौति वाचा पंगु लंगाते गिरी यत्तमह वंदे श्रीगुर दीनतारिणम परमानंदमाधव श्रीकृष्णचैतन्यदेव वाचाकलपतरोभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्यव पतीता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम नमो विष्णुपादा कृष्ण प्रस्था भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदस्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वती देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चदेशिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार श्रीवासादिगौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू आर फ्रॉम बिलाय छत्तीसगढ़ ऑन द रेस्ट आर फ्रॉम बॉम्बे मुंबई एनी वेर एल्स फ्रॉम तमिलनाडु वेर पालकार्ड तंजाव so you are uh, what you are already practicing devotee somewhere mm, then you are connected to this uh, where yeah, you are came to mumbai i was connected with adbhuta hari adbhuta hari prabhu college he came to here college which college i am in mean, international sports management sports management there is two chairs here two of you can sit somebody can sit here want to sit i'll take one of the chairs here Some more are coming. Mm. Okay, if somebody comes, you can now go. Yeah. There. उधर जगह है क्या? इधर आ जाओ, इधर आ जाओ. उधर से कौन कर रहा है? दो ही सीट है. अरे कृष्णा. So today we will. Uh, discuss about the past time of ambarish maharaj ambarish maharaj <coughs> was uh, the emperor of the whole world uh, his father was nabaga who was son of manu so manu's grandson ambarish maharaj uh, <coughs> he ruled the entire world consisting of all the seven islands the seven islands constitute what is known as bhumandala this universe is hollow sphere hollow sphere in which half of it is filled with the uh, garbhodaka ocean water remaining half in that there are 14 planetary system seven higher planetary system seven lower planetary system the middle one is like a disk extending from the edge of the universe this side to that side entire thing is covered because of the sun rays which are available in the higher planetary system they don't go to the lower planetary system because this is like a disk from edge to edge of this hollow sphere inside and that disk is known as bhumandala which defines middle planet system above is higher planet system below is lower planet system and this disk bhu mandala consists of seven islands and the middle is sumeru mountain and the first island is jambudweep where we are situated <laughs> so this jambudweep has got uh, different uh, varshas are khandas you can say and one is known as bharata varsha this planet earth is just one portion 
of the Jambudvip and Jambudvip is just one island of this Bhu Mandala. So, this, bo this whole planet itself is a small portion huh, of this middle planet system. Exactly like in the modern science, we can see that this earth planet is just one part of the solar system and the solar system is just one part of the galaxy Milky Way and there are so many galaxies and quasars like that and if you see this earth planet is just a small thing even from modern science point of view earth planet is a small thing actually Vedic science also is a small thing actually and this planet has got <laughs> so many countries and the provinces and the cities and and we can see our place is very <laughs> insignificant insignificant in this entire cosmos and uh, Ambarish Maharaj was ruling this entire Bhu Mandala consisting of seven islands so not just of the earth planet hmm? much more than earth planet so even though he was a ruler of this entire Bhu Mandala but he never considered him to be the proprietor. Sometimes when we possess something, we consider it as I am the owner, I am the proprietor, <laughs> I am the boss. <laughs> the tendency comes. But the more you possess, the more tendency may come. Huh? Little you possess, you consider only little ownership. Bigger thing, bigger ownership. Even though he possessed something which is unimaginable from our point of view, he considered all these things are temporary and material. He knew that this is not something permanent. When you possess actually something, we think that permanently we own. Permanently we own. But what we own is nothing more than yeah, birth in uh, a train. Suppose you came from Bilai, you boarded the train in Durg and you got a seat. This is my seat. <laughs> my seat over here. For how long? <laughs> Once you reach Mumbai, eh, Kurla Terminus or <laughs> Dadar or <laughs> CST, you don't feel, you know, you want to stay there. You, you even think that when you'll get out of it because you want to be not so much restricted by space. You are sitting in one place or sleeping in one place. You just want to get out. And you immediately leave it. You don't think that, you know, you are owner of that seat. All the possessions in the material world are like that. <laughs> we are all like travelers. And we are in this journey, and this journey starts at some point of time and ends at some point of time. Durg to CSTM. After that, something else. <laughs> you don't identify with the seat or you don't identify with the train. You find the train is only helping your journey from one point to another, and your journey is continuing. Like that, life journey also continues. And it is very easy to understand the train journey, but it is very difficult to understand our life journey. Our life journey, <laughs> we get attached to whatever we possess. And the first and foremost is our own body. This is me. I am so and so. And other attachments are little less. If I lose, it is okay. But if I lose something which is very close to me, then I feel, you know, something is big loss for me. Whereas Ambarish Maharaj was a devotee of the Lord, Lord Vishnu. And he felt that these are all temporary. I am having it, but then as long as I need to do my duty, I will continue. Otherwise, my real duty is to serve Vishnu. Mm. So that is the attitude of a devotee. As long as you have to execute some activity, you do it. But then keep Krishna in the center. Mm. And then you go uh, further in your life by dedicating yourself in Krishna's service. So in this way, Amrish Maharaj uh, <coughs> was uh, so devoted that it is uh, 
said that in every activity in his life he kept Krishna in the center. Hmm. There is famous sloka in Srimad Bhagavatam he says Savai mana Krishna padara vindayo vachamsi vaikunta gunarnu varnani. <coughs> it is describing about, Sukadeva Goswami describing about the quality of Ambarisha Maharaj, how he engaged everything in his possession in service of Krishna. It is stated that his mind, the mind is very <laughs> difficult to engage eh? because the thoughts keep coming incessantly like the waves in the ocean waves in the ocean continuously keep coming eh? so many thoughts are coming how to think about one object is very difficult actually but Ambarisha Maharaj was always engaging his mind in service of Krishna hmm? always mind is to be engaged in thinking so he was always thinking about the lotus feet of Krishna very difficult. Mind is like a monkey jumping from one thought to another thought like a monkey jumps from one branch to another branch. <laughs> you may be sitting in one place and doing something, immediately thought process may take you somewhere else. Somewhere else. <laughs> somewhere else. <laughs> How to focus your thought in one object that is the lotus feet of Krishna? Very difficult. Meditation, Dhyana Yoga. Ambarish Maharaj was always engaging his mind in service of Krishna. And he was engaging all his words. Whenever he speak, you can speak anything you want. Engaging the words in service of Krishna. Glorifying Krishna. Ma Prabhupada explains, Mauna. Mauna means silence. Sometimes, some people may do Mauna Vrat. Means, that day they may not speak. Doing some Mauna Vrat. Maunavrat, somebody says, today I am doing Maunavrat. Somebody will come and ask, he will write and show, no? Pani chai. <laughs> when you are writing, then your mind is thinking that what you have to write and mind is engaged. Then what kind of, you are only not at using the tongue to express, you are using your uh, hand to express, then what? You are already doing something actually. What kind of mauna? That is not mauna. Varad. But whereas, yeah, a devotee, if he continuously speaks about Krishna, it is also called mauna, mauni. Not talking anything material is also mauna. Not talking anything material, talking about Krishna. Hmm. What Sukadeva Goswami is doing, he is continuously talking, he is actually a mauni. <laughs> he is not talking anything material. Otherwise, why all the sages are assembled to hear from him? There is no need. They knew that something wonderful is happening, so they come. So, Ambarish Maharaj uh, was always uh, discussing about Krishna Katha whenever opportunity would come. And his hands, always used in service of cleansing the temple. Hmm. Generally, there are rich men, very pious. They may have temple in their house, especially, you know, rich people, Marwadis, they have a temple in the house. And they will even employ a Brahmin to do puja. They don't have time. They will not be able to do anything. They pay money, chalo, payment. And then the fellow does cleaning it, worshipping, everything he will do. And this is their temple. Okay, they just go and pranam. Oh, Mara Mandire, Mara Bhagavan. Manual work is done by somebody else. The ordinary, in this earth planet, in this small <laughs> province, a little rich man can do that. And we have said what? Ambarish Maharaj is emperor of the entire Bhu Mandala and he could have employed some people to do it, you know, cleaning kya karna. He was personally doing it. His hands were engaged in service. Not that he was thinking, I am the emperor, why I should do it? Let somebody else do the job. <laughs> so, 
and in the years always hearing about the glories of the supreme lord rich men always want to hear their own glories wo kya 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 glorification karega to then it very nice but he was not interested in hearing about his glories because he even though he was the emperor of the whole <laughs> planetary system actually he was hearing about krishna katha only anybody comes he will tell them okay do krishna katha and his eyes looking at the deities of the lord Hmm? is sense of touch in touching the lotus feet of the lord hmm? sense of smell in smelling the garland tulasi leaves manjaris smelling about something associated with the supreme lord and his tongues taking prasad devotees devotees they they take prasad <laughs> they, even though there are so many other items outside available they are not interested in tasting which is not connected to krishna which is not krishna's blessings mercy hmm? ambrish maharaj also like that his legs towards walking to the holy places the emperors and all they don't walk actually they go on the elephant they go on the chariot and if they are and if not all these things then they may go on a palanquin and people carry <laughs> if the terrain is very difficult for all these things the people will carry they don't walk actually whereas amrish maharaj he personally used to walk hmm? <clears throat> so uh, in this way it is described how amrish maharaj actually engaged everything in his possession his paraphernalia his own body his own senses and his mind everything engaged in service of krishna so um, <clears throat> he was uh, such a wonderful devotee that hmm, the supreme personality of godhead was so pleased with his service he said that sudarshan chakra you be there any time any need will be there you take care of the situation it's like a god security god sometimes security god is given no kuch necessity hoega to take care of the situation <coughs> so um ambarish maharaj once observed ekadashi fasting for one full year पानी चाहिए सबको पानी चाहिए तो प्यास लगा अमरीश महाराज आई सेड इज फास्टिंग फ्रॉम वाटर एंड यू वॉन्ट वाटर अमरीश महाराज फॉर वन ईयर एवरी मंथ देर आर टू एकादेश इज कमिंग फॉर वन ईयर एवरी एकादेश यू वॉज फास्टिंग फ्रॉम वाटर टेक सम वाटर यू आर नॉट अमरीश महाराज so one full year he observed ekadashi every ekadashi very strict fasting so on in the month of kartik hmm, he observed the fast uh, for three nights and then after next day after fasting he took uh, bath in yamuna river hmm, and uh, then after fasting you have to also complete the fasting by means of at the appropriate time you take prasad parana time right how many of you fast on ekadashi fasting from grains and beans <laughs> at least tomorrow is there tomorrow by the way is a nirjala ekadashi we are talking about ekadashi so ah huh? yes so now you hear how much he fasted so you remember amrish maharaj <laughs> so that he will put some effort extra effort so um after fasting there is a parana time next day so in that time you have to actually take prasad so that the ekadashi fasting becomes complete so if you don't take prasad during that time then uh, no the fasting is not considered complete 
So Ambarish Maharaj fasted and then uh, next day he took bath in uh, Yamuna and he invited all the Brahmanas. You fed them sumptuously, Prasad. He is a Kshatriya, so he is supposed to honor the Brahmanas. So he fed everyone sumptuously and he gave charities, cows, gold, etc. etc. So in this way, uh, <coughs> Ambarish Maharaj, uh, after doing his duty of uh, serving the Vaishnavas, observing the fast, he was going to take Prasad to complete the Yakadasi fast. So at that time, uh, Durvasa Muni, a great mystic yogi, mystic yogi, Durvasa. Durvasa is known for getting angry at the slightest provocation. <laughs> He will become angry and uh, he could even curse very strongly. Hmm? So Durvasamuni came, Ambarishmarai welcomed him, please have a seat and uh, how can I serve you? So please take prasad. He said, yeah, yeah, I will take prasad but I have to take bath and come. So he went to Yamuna to take bath. So he is a mystic yogi. So once he took, no, generally brahmanas go to take bath, they also chant Gayatri and meditate. And suppose taking bath in Ganga, so you chant there. When you are taking bath, chant in the Ganga itself. So like that he started chanting mantra and meditate. And uh, meditation is such a kind of thing that once you are absorbed in the thought process, then you don't uh, experience the time passing. It can be very long time. Sometimes yogi can meditate for <laughs> months and months and years together also. Minimum thing is you know, little bit longer you can understand. But parana time is not going to be that long anyway. So this Durvasha Muni, he went to uh, uh, take bath and he uh, started meditating, he is not returning back. The <coughs> culture, etiquette of a Kshatriya is that he, before he takes food, he should honor the guest. You can't have the guest and uh, not feed them and you take yourself. That is not considered proper culture. Now Durvasa has come to his house, palace and uh, without feeding him how he can eat and the time is passing time is passing also are parana time khatam hone ja raha then he was wondering what to do then he consulted with the brahmanas and he said i want to actually complete the fast not otherwise i want to enjoy food so what should i do to complete if one actually fast nirjal without taking water even taking water is considered to be breaking the fast. If you have taken juice, you can't break the juice fast with water. Eh? If you have to break the juice fast to something solid, a little higher substance. If you are taking, you know, non-grain things, by taking grain only you can break the fast. If you are already eating fully and next day you say that by taking water I am breaking, how you can be? No. You are already taking water before, no? So he has fasted full. So he said that, can I take little water? According to scriptures, taking water is neither eating nor not eating. In one hand you are taking something. On another hand it is not considered to be a full meal. Pani, na? So everybody said yes. By taking this you are not dishonoring Durvasa because it is considered not eating also. On the other hand, you are fulfilling the condition that you know you have taken something during this parana time. So you take water. So with that, he took little water. So in the meantime, uh, let me also take some water. <coughs> in the meantime, um, uh, Durvasa Muni came by means of his uh, mystic power. Some the rishis and munis, they can see things happening at different location and different time. Trikalagya. Trikalagya means past, present, future. So 
so when he came he understood that ambarish took water he became angry he was already hungry a yeah, hungry person little bit provocation he can become more angry right if you are fully satisfied the, the anger may not be that strong <laughs> if you are hungry hungry man become especially when you are fasting little bit something happens you know you <laughs> you, you get angry when you are hungry you may get angry so when you are fasting don't get angry <laughs> so he said what kind of emperor you are you don't have the etiquette hmm? how can you just invited me to take prasad and you yourself are already eaten what is this this is not correct hmm. and you have become so arrogant and think that you are the emperor of went on ambarish maharaj was just listening he was not saying anything so he said that you know i will teach you a lesson hmm. then he took a bunch of his hair and he chanted some mantra and create a big demon you by mantra a brahmana can do that hmm. create a demon with a trident in his hand trying to attack uh, ambarish maharaj <coughs> so all the while ambarish maharaj was not at all uh, disturbed he was not trying to justify he was not trying to justify he was not trying to counteract uh, and he started only meditating upon the supreme lord this is the quality of the devotee under all circumstances he depends upon the supreme lord hmm. so uh, as the the demon created out of the <laughs> of durvasha muni was trying to attack uh, ambarish maharaj immediately sudarshan chakra appeared on the scene the sudarshan chakra is already there lord vishnu has kept the sudarshan chakra because even if sudarshan chakra has to start from vaikuntha and come here it may take some time you know actually it may not take time it may not but still that may not taking time little fraction also krishna did not want to allow <laughs> allowance nahi <laughs> dena bagal mein ro so darshan chakra can travel at the speed you know not of material time just immediately appear within a moment it can appear from vaikuntha to here also krishna still kept the sudarshan chakra with ambarish mara immediately sudarshan chakra started Pshh! burnt ashes the demon created by ambarish uh, created by uh, durvasha muni and ambarish mara is looking and durvasha is also looking are kya ho gaya mera especially you wanted to <laughs> you created something <laughs> completely burnt into ashes and uh, after that sudarshan chakra started it was it was blazing eh? it's like fire ball blazing source of destruction sudarshan chakra source of destruction <laughs> it started moving towards durvasha durvasha is seeing and sudarshan chakra is coming are are mera paas aa raha hai then he started running to save himself he went to sumeru mountain which is in the middle of this bhu mandala of which ambar is the emperor he went into the caves then also sudarshan chakra is coming he went to higher planet system sun chakra is following is wondering kya karega abhi then he finally went to brahma on the top most planet system hmm? brahma loka please save me he said what can we do <laughs> this is the weapon of the supreme lord and we all are his servants humse kuch nahi hoga <clears throat> then he thought what to do within the universe nothing is happening so let me go to kailash which is outside the universe <laughs> then he thought shiva may save me so he went to lord shiva in kailash and uh, lord shiva also said oh 
every one of us including myself and brahma we are all at the lotus feet of the lord and uh, sudarshan chakra is coming what we can do we cannot do anything there is nothing that can be counteractive in entire three planet system against sudarshan chakra and the lord shiva said what i can see only thing that can save you is this is chakra of the supreme lord maybe you go to vishnu he will be able to help you i don't know but at least try you can try at least <coughs> in this way uh uh durvashamuni uh, to save himself hmm, he actually approached lord vishnu and he said oh my dear lord he went to vaikuntha loka my dear lord your chakra is chasing me please protect me it is exactly like you go to some house the dog is barking at you you tell the maa sare re tumhara kutta ko pakdo yaar kya kar raha hai if the master say hey tuk tuk then theek hai so sudarshan chakra is the weapon of the supreme lord vishnu and he went to vishnu my dear lord please please do something you know your chakra is chasing me i am coming all the way from bharata varsha <laughs> came to vaikuntha loka long distance and you are running so you can understand how much tired you would be but you may have to know that he was he was hungry also <laughs> he has not taken food ha huh? abhi he was hungry and uh, amrish maharaj offered him food instead of taking food he cursed him and from that time he is running so unko kuch khane ke liye bolega hum chakka thoda ruko bhai mera snack break dena bhai thoda kha pi ke baad mein main bhagta hu tum mera piche aa jao aisa to nahi hai you can't take a break you know and somebody chasing you you can't say please wait and i have something to do so all the while he was he has not taken any food with he forgot about his hunger now saving the life and it comes who will think about hunger actually <laughs> so in this way um he uh, approached um uh, lord vishnu <coughs> and uh, lord vishnu said that actually my devotees are so much dependent on me dependent on me i am their shelter hmm. in fact i am controlled by them <laughs> only by means of devotional service one can control hmm. i am controlled by them hmm. and uh, in their heart i only sit they only keep their heart seat for me in the heart so many desires are there chaitanya mahaprabhu said cheto darpana marjana the heart has to be cleansed consciousness has to be purified in the heart we have so many desires so many anarthas which have accumulated over a very long duration of time how long millions and trillions of lifetimes <laughs> brahmanda brahmite kona bhagyavan ji guru krishna prasade bhai bhakti lata bhi brahmanda to brahmanda we are roaming each brahmanda lifetime of brahma and this is this is the smallest brahma actually <laughs> how many brahmandas we are roaming we don't know all these anarthas are accumulated all this duration of time as long as these anarthas are there krishna cannot come and sit shri chaitanya mahaprabhu in his past time with uh, sarvam bhatacharya sarvam bhatacharya's son in law amoga he actually was envious and criticized and offended chaitanya mahaprabhu and he was going to actually die of cholera because of the offense chaitanya mahaprabhu went to him and said why are you keeping in your heart so much unwanted thing how krishna will come and sit here immediately by just touching he removed all the anarthas 
but we don't have that special touch we have to remove ourselves <laughs> somebody else will not come and <laughs> do needful we have to do our own needful and that our own needful is hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 cheto darpan marjanam cleansing the heart so lord vishnu said my devotees have cleansed the heart so much that i very happily sit there and in my heart they are sitting also in their heart i am always there in my heart they are sitting means i am always thinking about them especially yeah mother has got a child baby fully dependent on the mother mother will be always thinking what is happening to the child you know cooking bhi hoega but bachcha kidhar hai anything happens she will immediately be able to come and do the needful any activity she may be doing because the child is fully dependent when the child grows up goes to school mother may not really worry theek theek hai wo to school gaya na theek hai not that the case when a small baby eh, same fellow small baby she is thinking oh anything uh, getting harmed huh? cooking doing any other different different activities all the time she is thinking that is being in the heart in the same way when a devotee is fully dependent on vishnu krishna exactly like a baby fully depends on the mother krishna reciprocates exactly like the mother will always think about the welfare of the child krishna is thinking about the welfare of the <coughs> devotee that is what it means to be they are in my heart i am always thinking about them anything goes wrong i am there always to rescue so uh <clears throat> in this way uh lord krishna said a devotee he has given up everything for me he has surrendered fully unto me he has given up his family he has given up his society he has given up anything and he fully surrenders unto me how can i not do anything for this devotee <laughs> if so much he has done to me how can i say that chalo kuch hone do kar ki no krishna says how can i not do anything for that kind of devotee so in this way uh mm, uh lord vishnu said you have actually offended ambarish of acting out of envy this is not good if at all anything can be done he only can forgive you <laughs> so you do one thing better you go back to ambarish maharaj only and if he forgives you then there is some scope vishnu is telling <laughs> if ambarish can forgive you there is some scope otherwise i don't see any scope vishnu is telling that he can't do anything to control his uh, chakra i can't do that you know, better you go back to back to square one hmm? go back <laughs> he can do something so in this way uh, <clears throat> uh as soon as he heard that even vishnu cannot save him from the scorching heat of sudarshan chakra he said theek hai bhai so you let know that he is the one who actually offended ambarish now to save himself he came back to ambarish all the way from vaikuntha back to square one madhuvan vrindavan braj <laughs> whole thing happened in braj madhuvan is in vrindavan on the banks of yamuna so um uh, immediately uh durvasha muni fell at the lotus feet of ambarish maharaj so he is a brahmana ambarish kshatriya normal etiquette is that you know kshatriya washes the feet of brahmana not the other way around now emergency situation <laughs> this previously came as a guest now he is coming for a shelter <laughs> so aate aate gir gaya to <laughs> it is he didn't even give time for ambarish maharaj if he, ambarish maharaj had got time he would not have allowed him to fall to aata to seedha ke gir gaya 
and now how he fell down he fell down in such a that he just caught hold of the lotus feet of ambarish maharaj <laughs> seedha pakda clasped the lotus feet and he said that oh the great weapon of supreme personality of godhead sudarshan is trying to destroy me please please you know you have to save me why lord vishnu said like that they have kya ko nobody gave any solution to me vishnu only gave solution and that solution is to ask for forgiveness please save me you can understand how much uh <coughs> selfish durvasha is and he dared to curse him uh, and now to save himself he is coming to the same person to ask forgiveness hmm? so what did uh, ambarish do ambarish did not say that hey mere ko uh, you created a demon to kill me abhi that's it सुदर्शन जल्दी करो भाई इनका डिवोटिस डोंट डू दैट इमीडिएटली अमरीश महाराज स्टार्टेड प्रेंग टू सुदर्शन ओ माई डियर सुदर्शन यू आर द अल्टीमेट वेपन ऑफ सुप्रीम लॉर्ड इफ एट ऑल आई हैव डन एनी पायस एक्टिविटी spiritual activity let that pious activity be used to neutralize the offense that this brahmana has committed please don't do don't burn him <laughs> and he also prayed to lord vishnu my dear lord hmm. please let this ah uh, if you are pleased with my devotional service please this uh, uh, durvasha be saved hmm. so in this way uh, Amrish Maharaj offered prayers to both Sudarshan Chakra and Lord Vishnu. So as soon as uh, he did that, then Sudarshan Chakra became cooled down. Chakra, when it starts moving, when it is not moving, it will cool down. <laughs> when it starts moving, uh, then it will be like a fire personified, you know, destruction. So. He cooled down, start stopped burning. <coughs> so in this way, when uh, Durvasha Muni was uh, freed from uh, burning Sudarshan Chakra's punishment, then uh, Ambrish Mara said, "My dear Durvasha Muni, please take Prasad, because he invited him for taking Prasad, you know." And it is said that. from the time durvasha muni left and came back it took one year in earthly calculation it is like this but it is one year by the way durvasha has not eaten also huh? so because he has not eaten said that please take prasad and what did uh, ambarish marai do he didn't eat also for one year he was only taking water because he broke the fast with water for next to one year he was waiting for durvasha to come back he knows sir kidhar bhi jaate the rana padega lord vishnu purposefully sent him are mera devotee wait kar udhar hi ja tu jaldi tum jaldi jayega to tumhara fast khatam hoga unka bhi fast khatam hoga abhi tak wo fasting hai the lord is worried about ambarish maharaj fasting inka baare mein kya karna jao tum kitne ka See, the mother will be concerned about own child, you know. Dusra kya ho gaya? Unko kya karna hai? So the Lord knows that my Ambarish is still fasting. He fasted for Yakadasi and he didn't break and he took only water. Still he is drinking water. Isko jaldi pe jaao. Iske baad jaldi jaldi jaao bhai. <laughs> so in this way, uh, Ambarish Maharaj fed Durvasha first. After pura khane ke baad. अभी आप भी खाओ अभी याद आया उनको उनको खाने के लिए बोलो <laughs> ऐसा नहीं बोला हम दोनों साथ में खाएंगे एटिकट ब्राह्मण है ना आई शुड ईट फर्स्ट देन व्हाट हैपन टू योर ब्राह्मण यू केम एंड फेल डाउन एट द लोटस फीट ऑफ क्षत्रिय सो दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन योर डिवोटी एंड योर 
ordinary pious person pious person selfish and does things for his own benefit a devotee selfless even though he didn't eat first he offered to durvasha muni and, and after he finished and he was happy ha ha bhi theek hai then he blessed him ambarish you are a great devotee hmm. i didn't know the glories of a devotee this is the wonderful quality of ambarish maharaj so much so that hmm, so chaitanya mahaprabhu teaches tranadapi sunichena tarorev sagashnuna amanena manadena kirtane sadahari emblem even though he was the emperor of the three you know the middle plant system hmm, he didn't feel himself proud he was feeling very humble humbler than the blade of grass and he was so tolerant even the person who wanted to punish him he saved him and he didn't break the etiquette of not offering to him and eat also tolerance and he was always giving respect not expecting any respect he is an emblem so in this way after uh, ambarish maharaj served durvasha muni so durvasha muni blessed him very nice durvasha when he blesses also <laughs> he blesses very nicely so he was very happy and he blessed ambarish maharaj and he started glorifying ambarish maharaj as he was going wherever he went he said oh ambarish maharaj is a nice devotee <laughs> higher plant system he was going they are ambarish yes yes i have experience good experience <laughs> <laughs> he is a nice devotee so ambarish maharaj glories were chanted by durvasha muni so in this way ambarish maharaj uh, thereafter also he was always engaged in service of krishna so in this way he became actually devotees even by doing one activity perfectly he can become perfect for example hmm, shravanam shravanam kirtanam vishnu smaranam navavida bhakti just by doing shravanam only you can become perfect also parikshit maharaj he didn't do anything just only heard kirtanam sukadeva goswami just by speaking he became perfect like that even one activity if one can do perfectly his life can be successful Ambarish Maharaj did all the activities perfectly, so you can understand how much glorious he must be. So in this way, we should uh, try to learn the wonderful lesson from the qualities of Ambarish Maharaj, one of the greatest devotees of the Supreme Lord. Because of his devotion, the Supreme Lord made sure that he was protected. So in that way, some or other, if he can follow the footsteps of Ambarish Maharaj. and render devotional service in one aspect we may do well in another we may not do we keep trying keep doing as much as possible so that we can make progress in our devotional service and uh, achieve the perfection so we will uh, stop here any questions or comments how to smaran smaran <coughs> smaranam suppose you hear about now ambarish maharaj so <coughs> tomorrow when you are going to fast <laughs> ekadashi when you remember oh especially see what happens every day you take breakfast at some time say 9 o'clock so body is actually tuned no 9 o'clock you feel hunger little bit hungry 9:30 little bit more hungry and you don't eat up to 10 o'clock then you no know, it will go away ha uh, so 11 12 then you won't feel the hungry like in the same time that 9 o'clock you'll be feeling so when uh, tomorrow when you are going to fast so when you first when you start feeling hungry then you remember oh ambarish maharaj hmm? how much fasting he did this is nothing no i am not going to eat some people said we will try so 
uh, yeah so when you are trying when the breaking point comes no 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 we have to do something remember ambarish mara that is smaran <laughs> not only he fasted for all year during ekadashi and he did the ekadashi full fast and you are going to break the fast he took only water next to one full year he was only taking water not yet taking anything else no fruits no samarais kichdi huh no sabudana kichdi <laughs> nothing or nothing to speak about rice and wheat and things like that nothing only water can you imagine what is that actually principle are bhai i invited him to eat and he has not eaten how can i eat so if all here you can fast then what is this one day i how can i know now i am going to try it is possible try to understand everything given in devotional practice to be done is possible to be done we don't have the determination to fulfill it it is not if something is impossible there won't be nirjala ekadashi it is possible but it is we are not used to it it will be difficult i am not saying it will not be difficult it will be difficult but it is possible try <laughs> try but we keep on procrastinating it with the new next time we do next time you have to be the determination should be there if determination is not there determination is there it is possible we are postponing it only because our determination is weak if we are not fully determined चलता है यार कौन सा इतना ही क्या करना है वी हैव टू डिसाइड वॉट इज अवर गोल इफ माई गोल इज टू अचीव सर्टन थिंग्स अनलेस आई एम डिटर्मिंड हाउ कैन अचीव द गोल वेन यू ट्राई टू डू इट यू ऑलवेज कंपेयर समबडी हु इज डूइंग बेटर दैन यू डोंट कंपेयर समबडी हु इज नॉट बेट डूइंग सो वेन यू आर फास्टिंग अभी कान है क्या कि नहीं देखो ओ का रहा है ये का रहा है ये का रहा है हम भी खाएंगे ये बाज मत देखो ये नहीं खा रहा है वो नहीं खा रहा है अरे ये लोग नहीं खा रहे ठीक है मैं भी कोशिश करता हूँ कंपेयर विथ समबडी हु इज अगर्ड ऑफ यू डोंट कंपेयर विथ समबडी हुज बिहाइंड यू वेन यू आर रनिंग हंड्रेड मीटर्स रेस यू सी वो इज गोइंग इन फ्रंट इन और ये जो पीछे अरे वो ऐसा कैसा ये होता है क्या यू ओनली सी द फ्रंट डोंट सी द बैक यू डोंट सी दैट अरे अरे तीन जन पीछे गया फिर भी देखो पांच जन हमारा पीछे है अच्छा है मैं पांच जन का आगे तो हूं क्या फायदा हो गया जो आगे तुम्हारा तीन जन है उनका आगे जाना है वो डिटर्मिनेशन होना चाहिए दस जन चलता है उसमें तीन जन आगे गया तीन जन आगे गया उसको नहीं सोच रहा है पीछे पांच जन छह जन at least i am heard of these people there is no use to that it is possible but we have to try it become difficult because we are not used to it if you get used to it then it will be easy it is not impossible it is not impossible possible matlab mera ek matlab je time pe kuch bada hai ha time pe kuch bada hai to iska measurement kaisa hota hoga daily ka measurement kitna hota matlab aap to kuch measure kaise karte hai खर्चा होता है 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 बहुत 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 बड़े-बड़े लेकिन चल नहीं 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 क्या बोल रहे हैं आपको वो टेंशन हो गया आप एक काम करो इसके लिए क्या करना पड़ेगा आप आके हमारे साथ रहना पड़ेगा फिर मालूम पड़ेगा कैसा चला रहे हम लोग आप समझा थियोरिटिकली बोल के समझना मुश्किल पड़ेगा प्रैक्टिकली देखना पड़ेगा तो आप एक काम करो हाई ग्री और चरणपुर को असिस्टेंट बन जाओ फिर हमारे साथ कुछ दिन रहो फिर मालूम पड़ेगा ये मंदिर कैसा चलाते हैं हम लोग तैयार है <laughs> नहीं और थोड़ा लंबा रहना पड़ेगा <laughs> दो तीन दिन में कैसे समझेगा <laughs> इतना बड़ा मंदिर चलाना समझने के लिए थोड़ा टाइम लगेगा कि नहीं 
तो आप थोड़ा दिन हमारे साथ रहो ये कुछ नहीं है इसे भी बड़ा मंदिर चला रहा है बड़ा बड़ा चीज चला रहा है ब्रह्मा इतना किया है विष्णु पूरा दुनिया को चला रहा है तो दीज आर ऑल नॉट अ बिग थिंग लेट एस डू समथिंग इन लाइन विथ वॉट इज गोइंग टू प्लीज कृष्णा दैट इज इम्पोर्टेंट to bring a quality like uh, forgiveness in ourself just like uh, amrishi maharaj forgive the vasha system broad mindedness generally we are narrow minded generally we are selfish selfishness means i am there i am only concerned about the welfare of somebody close to me what is the closest thing to me my body is close to me no I am very attached to my body. मेरा body में कुछ I I can't get hurt, so nobody should hurt me. First I want to save myself. मेरा पूरा self हो गया, ठीक है. मेरा brother है, he is close to me, so I I will make sure that he also gets huh, protected. If my protection is there, my brother protection is there. वो मारने दो मेरे को क्या? मैं protect करूँ, ठीक है. मेरा पहला है. मैं होने के बाद मेरा बगल वाला ब्रदर ये सब हो गया मेरा फैमिली है ये सब हो गया मेरा सोसाइटी है सो दिस इज अ डिफरेंट लेवल्स ऑफ सेल्फिशनेस डिफरेंट लेवल्स ऑफ सेल्फिशनेस स्टार्टिंग विद ऑफ माय ओन बॉडी अंटिल द होल वर्ल्ड शुड बी प्रोटेक्टेड डिफरेंट लेवल्स एंड sometimes the broader the protection level i am thinking about people appreciate it ha wo acha aadmi hai he is working for the entire society ye ye kya hai desh bhakt hai bharat mata ki jai bolta hai ye kitna acha aadmi mahatma hai suppose wohi aadmi pakistan ka sath kuch hoga pakistan manne do maro भारत वरना नहीं चाहिए पाकिस्तान वाले से कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं दिस इज सेल्फिशनेस एट द नेशनल लेवल मेरा देश है भारत महान है बाकी किधर जाएगा गटर में जाओ हमको कुछ प्रॉब्लम नहीं हमको क्या कर दिस इज डिफरेंट लेवल ऑफ यू नो सेल्फिशनेस और नैरो माइंडेडनेस यू कैन सी वेन अ पर्सन कम्स टू द लेवल ऑफ Every living entity should be protected. I am also there, also my family member. Vasudhai va kudumba kam. I am sunta na vasudhai va kudumba. Kya matlab hai isko? You become actually broad-minded enough for the welfare of every living being on the entire planet system, even for ant. Ant of India and ant of Pakistan also. ऐसे नहीं तुम तो पाकिस्तान का एंट है बॉर्डर में इधर से उधर गया पाकिस्तान एंट मर गया <laughs> पाकिस्तान एंट मरने दो मेरा एंट को सुरक्षा करेगा नहीं वसुदई व कुटुंब कम सो इट्स लेवल लेवल ऑफ ब्रॉड माइंडेडनेस सो व्हेन वन इज ब्रॉड माइंडेड हाउ व्हाई हाउ वन कैन बिकम ब्रॉड माइंडेड ई सीज एवरी इन रिलेशन टू कृष्णा दैट इज ऑल्सो ए सोल सन ऑफ गॉड son of krishna so he should be also protected so when you keep krishna in the center and you think from krishna's point of view every living entity is equal then you will be broad minded and then you will be able to forgive even if somebody does a mistake even a pakistani he will not think that pakistani kya to usko maarna hi padega i will tolerate anybody does from india but from pakistan i cannot tolerate <laughs> that's the one level of narrow mindedness so unless one become broad minded ya yeah, vaishnava is broad minded para dukkha dukhi and he sees the suffering you know whether he is a pakistani or a russian or ukraine or anybody he sees that the living entity as long as in the material world they are suffering he tries to help them so he will be able to forgive he will be able to tolerate from somebody else's thing when you become broad minded and to make yourself broad minded you have to really keep krishna in the real center of your life 
रियल सेंटर नॉट जस्ट नाम के लिए काम के लिए कृष्णा इज माई वर्शिप ऑफ लॉर्ड वर्धन वेन एक्टिविटी कम्स यू एक्ट इन योर ओन सेल्फिश वे नॉट एनफ If one mm. is in keeping Krishna in the f- center and sees everything in relation to Krishna, then it is possible. Hare Krishna, तो ये अंबरीश महाराज की स्टोरी क्या हुई? कौन सी युग में हुई थी? हाँ, सत्योग. सत्योग. मानु महाराज का बेटा नाबा का नाबा का बेटा अंबरीश महाराज सत्योग का बात है. Beginning. Yes. एज लॉन्ग एज वी आर इन द मेटीरियल कॉन्शियसनेस मेटीरियल कॉन्शियस में रहेगा लिमिट रहेगा स्पिरिचुअल आ जाएगा तो लिमिटलेस हो जाएगा क्या लिमिट था अम्बरीश महाराज को अम्बरीश महाराज ये तो आदमी चला गया ठीक है अभी पानी पी करके एक साल तक रहने के क्या जरूरत पड़ता है अगले भी एक एकादशी आ गया फिर एकादशी करके दूसरा दिन तोड़ सकता था ना ये हाइएस्ट स्टैंडर्ड सेट कर दिया हाइएस्ट स्टैंडर्ड हाइएस्ट स्टैंडर्ड सो लिमिट क्या हो गया उनको लिमिट नहीं है ब्रेकिंग द बैरियर्स ऑफ ऑल द लिमिट्स इज वैष्णव फॉर वैष्णव देर इज नो लिमिट But as long as we are in the material platform, we'll have limit. But we have to step by step, gradually increase the limit. Don't jump from one limit to another limit. Actually, then it won't happen. Dire 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 tolerance ko bada na hai. Ek hi din mein nahi hoga. Koshish karte 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 aage bada sakta hai. Possible, ha? Huh? When one becomes a pure devotee of the Lord, then he can manifest that quality. But it is possible to become a pure devotee of the Lord. By the way. it may look like a very long distance to go but it is quite possible to fir matlab prabhu ji sri chaitanya ma prabhu ne unke bhakti fir matlab unko matlab kyun nahi shama ki kisko wo matlab ek sanyasi the unhone ek stri ki taraf se unke mann mein galat vichar aaya chota aridas chota aridas to am log ke sikhane ke liye kya standard rakhne ka karke chaitanya mahaprabhu hai He is a teacher taking the role of a student. So, जो चैतन्य महाप्रभु का जीवन में जो भी लीला हुआ है, वो सब हमारे लिए lessons हैं. Under a pers- under a particular situation, how we should act? Just see चैतन्य महाप्रभु's role model, his example. So he is teaching by that how a devotee should maintain the highest standard of devotional service. वो भी सिखाना पड़ेगा ना उसके लिए भी एग्जाम्पल लगेगा उसके लिए वेन समबडी इज एक्चुअली कमिटिंग ए मिस्टेक इन डिवोशनल सर्विस देर शुड बी डिसिप्लिनरी एक्शन ऑल्सो नो तो डिसिप्लिन ऐसा हो सकता है करके हमको सिखा रहा है सो इफ वी टेक दैट रोल दिस इज वॉट इज एक्सपेक्टेड ऑफ अस If one becomes completely renounced in devotional service, then what is it expected? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is teaching that don't ever associate with women, even in the mind. No seclusion, no discussion. So, this standard is setting. If we follow this standard, then we'll be benefited. So many times people don't follow it. That is why they get into trouble. For us, teaching for us. Prabhuji, how do we make uh, interest in Shravana? we take interest in shravanam by getting inspired by different different pastimes of the lord we should try to appreciate oh so nice ambrish maharaj is huh? so nice devotee is how much vishnu felt for him krishna how much krishna would have felt so much so that his own chakra he kept it as a god in ambrish maharaj palace how much the lord is pleased with him so you have to appreciate the different different pastime then who else is there let me then hear about pralad maharaj what he did so much so that uh, narsingha dev came from the pillar let me hear so by appreciating different different pa- devotees by appreciating the wonderful quality of the supreme personality of god you should develop the interest to hear more about the supreme lord it is we have to generate 
you, know, you need to have appreciation for it, then only you will want to hear more. Let me hear more. Let me hear more. Let me, let me also imbibe those qualities. What can I do like that? Let me try something. So that when you are trying to do, you will remember, Are wo aisa kya tam itna hi kar hon, dheere, dheere. So in that way, it's all about how much you get inspired by the different pastimes of the Lord and wanting to actually imbibe those qualities so that you can actually improve in your devotional service. Prerana ana chahiye. But Prabhuji, people means we are living in a materialistic world. Other people says what you are doing. You are narrow minded. You are following this. I have told some of my friends in there. They replied me like that. Narrow minded. You are doing. Who is said that the devotee is a broad minded <laughs> and they are telling devotee is narrow minded? Yes, because they are not following Prabhuji. They are in their materialistic world and living. It all depends upon how you define what is narrow minded. <laughs> for them, for them, if you do only your own things, then you are narrow minded. Because you go to the temple, you guys are sitting in the temple chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. What is this? You know, you are narrow minded. And they don't appreciate that by doing this, you are doing benefit to others. And they don't consider that as a benefit. For them, benefit means you will have to give something physical because they are materialistic people. So, paisa kamai karo, paisa sabko bato, then you are doing benefit. Whereas when you walk on the street and chant Hare Krishna, kya karte hai log? They don't understand that by chanting Hare Krishna, you are giving an opportunity for somebody to hear. That is also charity, you know. Kali paisa dekha to charity hota hai. Bhagavan ka naam dekha to charity nahi hota hai. So their perspective is different. But we have to have the perspective from Krishna's point of view. That is perfect vision. From Krishna's point of view, one is performing devotional service, he is broad minded. That is actually true. From the material point of view, the materialistic may think that you are narrow minded. So we pray to Krishna that slowly, slowly they will improve their narrow mindedness <laughs> their narrow mindedness yes. <laughs> so it will take time but we are not worried about uh, you know we are not going to live life for others we live life for yourself and for krishna yes. krishna's teachings are there in bhagavad gita and what is right to be done what is not to be done and you do the right thing and by doing so if krishna is pleased fine if materialistic people are not pleased that's okay if Krishna is going to be pleased, that's what we are looking for. Yeah, this cycle is Because Bhagavan Krishna comes in this cycle, like Dupar comes in the third time. In that cycle, Krishna comes in the third time. So, साइकिल एक जो ब्रह्मा का एक दिन में एक बार होता है वो अभी हुआ है जो जो राम राम जो जो को जो मनुष्य रूप में दिया था उसका जो मतलब क्या अभी सब दिया था ना ऑल समझा नहीं राम का राम जी राम जी पत्थर से एक नारी आहल्या उसका नाम तो वो क्या हुआ अगलिया एक बार एक देवता है देवता के ऊपर थोड़ा अट्रैक्शन हो गया फिर उनको साफ दिया है तुम पत्थर बन जाओ तो जब ही राम जी आएगा रामचंद्र का पैर तुम्हारे ऊपर लगेगा फिर तुम इस ये साफ से मुक्त हो जाए करके उनको दिया क्या याद आना चाहिए देखिए ये आवाज है ना दो हाथ से होता है एक हाथ से नहीं होता है तो उनका भी थोड़ा अट्रैक्शन था इसके लिए हो गया अभी आपको क्या करना है अज्ञान से गलती नहीं हुआ गलती तो वो है इसके लिए उनको साफ दिया गया है हमको ऐसा गलती नहीं करना चाहिए ये रेशन हमको लेना है 
तो गलती हो गया इसके लिए जो भी हो गया शास्त्र में लिखा गया है वो सब पुराना जमाने में हुआ ना उसमें से हमको क्या फायदा है हमको क्या लेना है गलती नहीं करना चाहिए इंपॉर्टेंट चीज है अभी गलती ऐसा हो जाता है आप समझो एक बार पत्थर बना दिया फिर ऐसा पत्थर गिर के कितना लंबा रहना पड़ेगा कितना लंबा रहा राम जी आने तक तो हमको ऐसा हम सोचना चाहिए हम कुछ गलती नहीं करना चाहिए हम जल्दी से जल्दी इधर से निकालना है नहीं तो टाइम पास हो जाएगा फिर अरी बोल बोलने वाला भी नहीं रहेगा <laughs> तो क्या करेगा हम तो जल्दी से जल्दी हमको करना है करके समझो पिछले जमाने में ऐसा होता है एक छोटा गलती से बहुत भोगना पड़ता है अभी हमको सोचना चाहिए हम कुछ गलती नहीं करें हम भक्ति मार्ग में जल्दी जल्दी हम आगे जाना करके हम सीखना चाहिए ठीक है हरे कृष्णा हाउ लॉन्ग यू आर सपोज टू गो वॉट इज दैट वन एंड वन टू क्वेश्चन थ्री ठीक है थ्री क्वेश्चन वन टू एंड थ्री यस See, students, certainly you need to study. Certainly, uh, you need to make your career. But then, what is the limit? Who decides? Hmm? So, a devotee student should understand that yes, career is important. Spiritual career also is important. This is also a career. <laughs> so in this the spiritual career is actually primary and material career is secondary so you have to see that how your material career also will help you to make the spiritual career going smoothly if there is a disturbance because of the material career pursuit in your spiritual life that spiritual disturbance should not be allowed as long as the spiritual career is not disturbed you can pursue as much as you want in the material thing but you have to be very clear that the spiritual pursuit is the most important material things will come and go in this lifetime you may be something but if that something acquiring something is not allowing to go back home back to god it you have to come in another life in that you'll again make up your career this is not going to help whereas whatever you have done in the spiritual thing that is going to be carried forward so you can pursue the material career as much as it is not going to be disturbing your spiritual pursuit it has to act as a you know kind of side by side helping hand not other way suppose your material career pursuit makes you to not chant hare krishna or it doesn't uh, allow you to properly follow the regulative principles you will be forced to break some of the principles then you'll say that oh uh, this is my career you know okay so if you have to be uh, in a uh, multinational company you uh, know uh, doing business in uh, uh, some of the uh, items which are prohibited because they are paying you more money and then you take up a lesser job which may pay you lesser money but it will be peacefully allowing you to perform your devotional service without breaking anything that means the difference is money so you should be ready to accept that lower position and be happy with that simple living high thinking instead of getting bigger package you'll be getting a smaller package so a smaller package also is good enough for a person uh, Uh, to be happy in in life on the other hand even if you get that bigger package still you may not be happy actually <laughs> so what the guarantee that you will be happy with that so you have to settle down your material pursuit can be allowed as much as it is not going to be disturbance in your spiritual life spiritual life is primary and in fact you have to keep planning in such a way that more and more your spiritual pursuit 
is taken care <laughs> it's not that just a minimum thing you do that's all you know no <laughs> you have to slowly 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 you have to see how to increase your spiritual thing so much so that the goal the goal in life is that you achieve the perfection and purity of going back home back to god how much am i doing that you have to keep analyzing when you keep more and more thinking that you will always try to reduce your material pursuit which is <coughs> possible to be done and that is what will allow you to be more and more pursuing in spiritual life to both you cannot pursue <laughs> with equal vigor you know if you want to put more emphasis on spiritual thing material thing that will reduce that reducing will get you lesser facility one becomes happy with whatever less also is possible he trains himself okay what's the big deal i don't have to go in a mercedes car but i'll go in no that's okay you have to go so one becomes happy no 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 my friend is going in mercedes i he is going to rolls royce and he is going with well, let them go their journey is different i am in a different journey i am okay with this that will help a person to make progress in spiritual life which is the primary by the way that is needed ha huh? the one who actually uh, loses the opportunity to perform devotion to krishna <laughs> the person who loses the opportunity to perform bhakti he is a killer of the soul atmaha if an opportunity is given is called suicide you know if an opportunity is given you don't take that opportunity he is you know he is killing himself a person can do devotional service and perfect it and go back to godhead instead of that he gets into the material activities and he be born again in the lower species of life what happened he actually lost the opportunity killer what is this suicide means what you have the opportunity to live you give up that opportunity and die you know that's killer you are killing yourself you know so you have opportunity to do bhakti and you don't do bhakti and then uh, go to the lower thing that is killer of the soul anyone who loses hmm, who gives away the opportunity to perform devotional service is a killer of the soul uh, my question is uh, why there is a less devotee of lord ramba and why there is only one temple uh, of lord ramba in the whole world that is lord brahma's uh, <laughs> curse that no he would not have any temple there is only one temple in pushkar right yes, yes. so that is part of the material lila going on in the material world <laughs> so then you know, lord shiva uh, lord shiva is only in the linga form worshiped hmm. brugu muni ka lila <laughs> uh. so in this way we have a lot of temples of vishnu so we can go there uh. giving an opportunity for you no know, vaishnavas to do more devotional service cars see very important in the previous yugas even small small mistakes done a person can be cursed so he has to undergo a very serious consequence and now in kali yuga we may do big big blunders also we are forgiven <laughs> in kali yuga the the blunders that we are doing if we have to do in satya yuga amara alat kharab ho jata tha <laughs> so we have the wonderful opportunity that in kali yuga we came after sri chaitanya mahaprabhu came mahavadanyaya and he has given this wonderful process of krishna kanya simplest way simplest way to perform devotional service and again we came after prabhupad brought this message of krishna consciousness all over the world 
and Prabhupada has given us this opportunity. And we keep committing not just mistakes, aparad, Vaishnava aparad. Uh, Ambrish Maharaj was offended by Durvasa and he has to come back and beg for forgiveness. And we left and right commit offenses. <laughs> And we don't even bother to ask for forgiveness. <laughs> so, still we are performing devotions, given opportunity. So, we should learn that Vaishnava Apra is very, very dangerous. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says that Vaishnava Apra is like a mad elephant entering into the garden of creeper. Creeper is very, very delicate, right? Mad elephant entering means destruction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vaishnava Aparad can destroy our devotion. Our devotion is actually devotional creeper, Bhakti Lata. Brahmanda Brahmite Kona Bhagyavanji Guru Krishna Prasade Pai Bhakti Lata Bij. Bhakti, seed of devotional service is obtained in our heart. And that seed is growing by means of chanting Hare Krishna and you know, doing devotional service. And if we allow the elephant, mad elephant to enter into the heart and it will be destroyed, our devotional will be completely finished. So we will be very, very careful in trying to avoid Vaishnava Pra. And we should be very, very serious in performing devotional service and improve our devotional service so that we can actually get an opportunity to perfect devotional sari. Otherwise, the mistakes that we are committing previous yuga, finished. You may become a dog, you may become a crocodile, you may become an elephant. So <laughs> Even very simple mistakes. Now is the golden opportunity. In spite of our all shortcomings, still we can perform devotional service and perfect devotional service and go back home, back to garden. Don't lose this opportunity. This opportunity is the rarest of the rare opportunity not to be missed. Become serious in devotional service and perform it in such a way that the goal should be set to go back home, back to Godhead in this lifetime. Not next lifetime. Who knows what? Kuch barasa hai? This lifetime. So for that one should put all the effort. Shravanam, Kirtanam, Seva, everything, everything. So that we can actually become saver of the soul. Not Atmaha, not the killer of the soul. Protect yourself. Protecting yourself means you make sure you are at the lotus feet of Krishna. Not at the lap of Maya. It is up to us to decide. Whether we want to be very quote unquote happy on the laps of Maya or we want to be Blissfully situated at the lotus feet of Krishna. Blissful. Happy is different, bliss is different. Eh? Happy is within the court. Bliss is bold, highlighted, underlined bliss. <laughs> Emphasis. That is perfection of life. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. 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 Hare Hare. Hare Ram. Hare Ram. Ram Ram. Hare Hare. He very beautifully explained the past time of Bhish Maharaj, how Bhish Maharaj engaged all his senses in the service of Lord Krishna, the service of Lord Vishnu. Then he explained about how the OT is so much tolerant. And although someone is committing so big blunder mistakes against him, still he is so much far. He is able to forgive. Then he explained, he answered so many questions. So we are very much thankful to him. So we would like to thank him and we will request him in future also we can get his association like this by once loudly chanting Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna <laughs>